I know that you put a lot of effort into preparing for these exams, and I want to maximize the amount of learning that you get from that effort. Therefore, each exam will have two components, an individual component worth 75% of the total grade and a collaborative component worth 25%. The individual portion will have 11-ish computer graded questions and one long answer problem where you'll write out your answer on a piece of paper, take a picture, and then upload it to Moodle. Again, there will be a practice exam where you can sort of see the layout, see the format, and practice this process of taking pictures and uploading. The exam should be doable in about one hour with about four minutes per computer graded question. This is based upon the MCAT, which gives you only two minutes per question, but I think my questions are harder. Moreover, I'm a strong believer in equitable course design and think that for this course, knowing the material is far more important than knowing it fast. As I've already stated, I know that you're not physics majors. This is the last physics course that almost all of you will ever take. I just want you to know the material, not know it fast. Therefore, all students will get more than double time to complete the exam. You will get two and a half hours from the time you begin to complete the exam. This two and a half hours does include the time needed to take a picture of your work and upload. Given that the exam is open book and open note, this should be plenty of time for you to complete the exam. Each exam will be open for a total of 36 hours. And so you can start the exam any time during that period. The exam period will begin at noon and then end at 11.55 p.m. on the following day. For an exam, for example, an exam may open on a Monday at noon and then close at 11.55 p.m. on a Tuesday. You can do the exam, like I said, any time during that window. You get two and a half hours any time during that window, but you must be finished by 11.55 p.m. on the last day. In other words, if you want the full two and a half hours, you must begin by 9.25 p.m. This 36-hour period is an accommodation to our students in distant time zones or with complex work or family obligations. For a portion of those 36 hours, there will be a Zoom room set up where I will be in the Zoom room and you can ask questions. Obviously, it won't be all 36 hours because I'm not going to stay awake for 36 hours, but it'll be for part of it. You do not need to spend your entire exam time in the Zoom room with your camera on. You can either sit in there and take the exam or only pop in when you have a question. However, the honesty code is in effect for the entire 36 hours of the exam period. And some resources, such as the practice exam and the help form, will be closed during this time. As I said, I'm going to trust you and afford you the respect that you will play by the rules, and I expect the same level of respect in return. The next class day after the individual exam will be reserved for working on the collaborative portion. The collaborative portion will open at our usual class time, and class time will be designated to work on it. This schedule is because presumably a significant number of you have at least blocked off that time slot in your schedule and can therefore meet with your peers to work on the exam. However, I recognize not everyone can make that specific slot and the collaborative exam was therefore not due until 11.55 p.m. on that day. Exam three during the finals period will of course be a little bit different and more details on that will come once we get some more information from the university as to the date of our third exam. As described in the section on teams above, if you elect to be on a team organized by me, your team will have one copy of the collaborative portion of the exam that you will do together and turn in together and receive a single grade for. If, on the other hand, you're working alone or you've formed your own study group, you will still do the assignment. You must still do the assignment, but you are still permitted to work with others. You're just expected to figure out who to work with and organize it yourself. However, you must turn in an individual copy of the collaborative exam for which you will get an individual grade. Fortunately, you don't have to worry too much about all of this because all the issues regarding who's in a team and who's not will be handled by Moodle in an automatic way. 